question I want to ask Justin Hires is, um, you know, comedy is a is a very very hard job, and it's a very very cutthroat experience. Um, as I've kind of initiated me doing comedy and the people that I've met, every single person that I have told, I know Justin Hires. 100% of them have said he is such an amazingly nice guy. Oh, that's sweet. It's the honest God truth. Every single person I know. So the question I want to ask you. Now, I do have to sell him the money. <laughs> <laughs> I told him if he said this publicly, I would, I would true. send him some money. So I appreciate that. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> no, nah, my bad. I'm listening. <laughs> We're going to duct tape and mute him. <laughs> but every single person literally has said that. Like, he is the nicest guy. He is the nicest guy. And then my experience with him has been nothing but true niceness and kindness. Like, I've never really written a joke. I just go up on stage and, like, perform. And I called him, and I was like, man, I might need some help writing jokes. He's like, man, you can call me anytime. Every person says this about him. So my question to you is you've been in the entertainment world for how long? Man, I would say really about 20 years. Okay. Yeah, when I was in college, I kind of got my first movie credit. Okay. And really, in high school, I got my first commercial. It was a McDonald's commercial. For real? Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know what was, was funny? When he, said, <laughs> when he said the McDonald's commercial, I was like, he ain't told a joke in a little bit. And then he went, ba 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 My friend told me a long time ago, he said, you speak in punchlines. <laughs> like, <I>, Facts. <laughs> Which I love, by the way. Um, but everybody says that about him. And, and by, I was surprised to hear you say 20 years. Like, that's a, that's a good long while. Yeah. So, I know. How old am I now, right? A lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> shea butter. You know what that shea butter. <laughs> Coconut oil. <laughs> so the question I want to ask you is, how have you maintained your genuine kindness with 20 years of being in such a hard industry? Man, you know, that's, that's actually easy for me. I always told myself, I'm going to do for others what no one did for me. And because I had it so hard, and because I felt like I didn't have people that I could call on, I said, I'm never going to be that person. So when there's people that need help, need guidance, or so whatever the case is, need a favor, I'm going to make sure that I step up and kind of provide that. As long as there's nothing that's going to be at the detriment of, you know, my health or my success, you know, as long as there's nothing crazy, but if I could be that person to help them out, then I'm gonna do that. But how have you stuck? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but how have you stuck to that? Like, cause this is an industry mm -hmm. that is really harsh. But it's one thing to say, I'm gonna be this, but you have actually stuck to it. You know, I learned something. I went to college, Clark Atlanta University, and, um, while I was in college, I took a philosophy class, and it was either Socrates or Aristotle. One of them, it was a quote that I never forgot. It said, be good for the sake of being good, meaning don't, do, don't be good because you want something in return. Just be good for the sake of being good. So I have a two, two different uh, components that I live by, right? It's be good for the sake of being good. That's number one. So do things, do things for yourself, and do things for others, and not ask or want anything in return. Just be a good person. Then the second part of that is, in Hollywood specifically, <laughs> somebody could be what you, a quote unquote nobody one year, five years from now they're the biggest talent in Hollywood. Ten years from now they might be running a studio. And then, <laughs> and then 30 years later they might get fired. <laughs> and then you have to remember the people that someone said this quote a long time ago, basically like the people you step on, you never know like who you're going to need. So it's like a lot of people, they kind of forget certain people, the, the more and more they extend going up and they're kind of like a-holes to people. But, and, but then eventually no one stays at the top. Um, you're going to need help getting to where you're going. And then once you are starting to come down, it's going to be other people starting to come up. And so it's like, but the other people that started to come up, you got to be careful that that wasn't the people that you were bad to and mean to, you know, because those might be the very same people that you may now need to keep you afloat, to keep you working. Mm. 
um, because that's something I realized about this business for sure. It's all about relationships. Um, you could be the most talented person in the world, but if no one likes you because you're selfish or you're not a good person or you don't, you don't know how to even be kind or say hello to the background actors or the grip or whoever the case is, people remember that. And, uh, and I just always uh, think about that, you know, when I'm out and about, when I'm on set, when I'm at the grocery store, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It's just yeah. like, just be good for the sake of being good. And then also, yeah, you, you do not know who you may need <laughs> five, 10 years from now. You just don't.